Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie. I hope you're keeping safe and well. If you're new here, then hi, welcome. It's really nice to meet you. Uh, today's video uh, is in a different place. Once again, I have finally got my wardrobe and my chest of drawers in my room. However, I have yet to put up my backdrop again. Uh, basically, I need to plan what I'm having on my walls and stuff so my dad can fit the screws and whatever because I cannot be trusted with a hammer because I was seriously injured myself. So, um, yeah, it's just going to be in front of my bed for now. I'm sitting on my bed because this massive box next to me that has got a load of my old... Uh, show programs in not of stuff I've been in but mostly I think mostly in here is West End productions tour productions etc like professional productions but I think there might be a few of mine in here I'm not too sure but I thought I'd go through it have a look speak about the shows you know I mean I know a lot of well myself and a lot of my friends are missing theatre a lot at the moment so I thought nice way to like show our love for the arts so yeah please excuse the backdrop and i will try my best to get it for next week just need to work out where it's going to go at the moment uh but for now this is going to do got some cute fairy lights what more do you want in life you know let's try and stand my microphone up because it's going to fall over any second anyway let's get into the massive box right the reason i look disheveled by the way, it's because I just had to hunt for this box under my bed. And of course it was the furthest one away from the edge of the bed. So I had to get my mum's like grabber thing to try and pull it out. Because my arms are too freaking short. Right, so I've got... Let's look at all of this. I've got loads of like random DVD, extra DVDs and stuff in here. Yes, I still own DVDs. I also own CDs. Look, this is blue. Jesus, what a throwback. I have some plays in here as well. Um... So I'm just going to have like a delve through because I've forgotten half the stuff that's in here. So I'm just going to have a look through. Right, let's start with like the little leaflets because I know some of these are signed. First thing we have is the Legally Blonde musical uh, leaflet which is signed by Sheridan Smith. If you don't know who Sheridan Smith is, this is her. <laughs> I'm sure you'll recognise her, especially if you've watched Gavin and Stacey. Uh, she is absolutely incredible. She is the loveliest person I've ever met. And she's just so lovely. And she came out and signed this after a matinee performance that I went to see her in. This is from Kerry Ellis. This is Wicked's one. By the way, there's holes in the tops of these because they used to be on my pin board. Um, not just because I was like stabbing them or anything that's weird. But yeah, they used to be on my pin board. But now I have my pins on my pin board. Uh, but this is Kerry Ellis' is autograph. Uh, she signed this, I can't remember where, I think it was a, maybe a Wicked Day or something. Um, actually, the woman in the programme is not Kerry Ellis, it's actually Alexa Kadeem. She was also amazing. Uh, another one by Kerry Ellis, you can't really see the signature, but I met her outside Oliver when she was Nancy and Oliver, um, but you can't really see her signature because she signed it on the bit where it's like the darkest bit of the leaflet. But, you know, I also had this, which is... From Lee Mead, who was Joseph, in uh, who won the Joseph competition that they did on TV. Uh, this says happy birthday from Lee Mead. He was in, I think he was in Wicked and my brother went to see him and he could, he was only doing one autograph per person. So instead of getting my brother one, he got me to, got him to write happy birthday to me, which is cute. I have a few other leaflets. I used to collect the leaflets from the shows just because I wanted to make like a collage. Uh, or like a scrapbook or something for all of them. Some of these I haven't seen. Like the Curious Instant of the Night Time. I haven't seen. Curious Instant of the Dog in the Night Time even. Haven't seen but I have read the play and I love it. I think it's superb. It's adapted by Simon Stevens, this one, who is fab. Um, so yeah, she... I haven't seen that one but I have the leaflet. I've seen these two. This is Matilda and Les Mis, which are both stunning performances. And I really want to go and see it again. Oh, I've got my Jersey Boys ticket. This is when we went, me and my mum and my brother went to watch Jersey Boys at the Prince Edward Theatre. That was an amazing show and I'm really, really sad that it closed. Because uh, I would love to see it again. It's a fabulous show. It's about Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons, for anyone who hasn't seen it. I have another ticket here. This is from the Mayflower when we went to watch We Will Rock You on tour in Southampton when I was visiting my nan. Uh, oh, this is, this is a throwback. This is a 
advert for a show I was in, uh, which is was Footloose the musical at my local theatre uh, in Basildon. I don't live in Basildon, by the way. That's why I don't care about saying Basildon because I don't live there. Uh, but yeah, it was Footloose. This was what year was this? It doesn't say the year. It just says October. Um, I mean, it doesn't say the year, but oh, two thousand and ten. Jesus, ten years ago. Wow, that makes me feel really old. I have like I'm a I'm one of these people that saves the souvenir bags when I watch a show. I know it's weird. I just can't bring myself to get rid of any of them. Because look at this bag. It's obviously Mary Poppins. Uh, stunning. I went to watch this with my mum, my dad and my brother years ago. That was... Uh, I don't know what theatre that was at. I can't remember the name of the theatre. I can see it in my head, but I can't remember the name. But it was really good. I loved that. I've got pictures. Oh, God got pictures from when I was in Little Shop of Horrors which I can't really show because there's other people in it and I don't want to like show you the pictures that there's other people in there's also a picture of me when I was in Oliver oh my god let me try and fold this so that you can literally only see me if I put my thumb over this person's face sorry Carla but this is me in my first ever show. This is the show that I actually fell off the stage in that I pulled my brother down with me in. So I've got that in a photographic form. I've got pictures of me in Footloose. Oh, Jesus, honey. They're not attractive. Let's put those away. That, I mean, it was 2010. I like to think I've had a glow up. I haven't had a glow up at all. I've just presented myself a little better this is actually a, draw, a digital drawing of rachel tucker that my brother did very talented brother he uh made that on his computer obviously that's what digital drawing is you idiot anyway he made it and he gave it to me uh this is a wicked calendar this is from 2011 uh i got this at wicked day i'm not sure if they still do wicked day actually there's a thing in London where you could go and like some of the styles of Wicked performed and stuff. You got loads of freebies. There's like stuff to buy. It was it was really cute. Um, I went a couple of years in a row, but a little mouse map. I don't have a mouse like a separate mouse for my computer, but I can't bring myself to get rid of it because Wicked is such an amazing show. And if you haven't seen it, like what are you doing? I know I'm really basic saying that, but it's so good. It's so good. I love Wicked. I've got a Wicked souvenir bag. The new musical, The Wicked, The Untold Story of the Witches of Oz. Da -da. I love that show so much. I really can't wait till I can get back to the theatre. I miss it so much. I have, what is this? This is a tea towel. Um, what is this? <laughs> this is, I went to my friend Naomi uh, that I went to Bournemouth University with. She got tickets for Sarah Millican and asked me if I wanted to go. So I did, and I can't go and watch a show and not get something. I think I've got like a tote bag with some different bits in, but this is a tea towel that says, you're never too fat for a handbag. It's a quote by Sarah Millican, and I completely agree with that. Nobody's too fat for a handbag. Um, <laughs> I can't even remember the content of it, it just makes me laugh. Again, souvenir bag, Les Mis, because, you know, I'm a hoarder. West End Live souvenir bag. Oh, I miss West End Live. West End Live is great. I haven't been for the last few years because of work. But if you haven't been to West End Live, I highly recommend. It's a free event in... Was in Leicester Square, now is in Trafalgar Square because it's even bigger. It's a free event. You don't have to pay to get in. You get a free programme. There's lots of freebies handed out. There's stalls so you can like get stuff drawn. You can get stuff made. Take pictures with... like. Um, West End Stars because they all perform. Uh, you can go and take pictures with like characters and stuff. It's really, it's really, really cute. And for a free event in the middle of London, it's amazing. And I went all the time when I was younger, but the last couple of years I haven't been able to go. And obviously this year wasn't a thing, which is really, really sad. But I'm hoping that I can go again soon because I love, I love West End Life so much. It's so great. It's so great. Anyway, next program. I have here is The Mousetrap. I went to see this at the Cliffs Pavilion uh, with my mum. My mum bought me tickets for this when I was in college. Uh, 2013. Uh, so I went to see that. 
and I loved it. I can't for the I know you're like supposed to keep it a secret who done it, but I can't even remember who done it now. And my mum won't tell me who done it because she's like got to keep it a secret. So I can't remember who did it, but I I know it's a great show. I love the match. I love stuff like that because I've grown up with stuff like that because that's what my mum um watches. My mum loves a murder mystery. So next up, I have some pl uh, plays that go with these programs. So I'll show you the plays first. So the first one is the play that goes wrong, which is by Misty Theatre. Which, if you haven't seen it, I die every time. Like I see clips of it and I laugh and. These guys, basically the next three plays I'll show you, are all by them. So I've got uh, The Play That Goes Wrong, Peter Pan Goes Wrong, and The Comedy About Bank Robbery. These are their scripts for them. Uh, Mischief Theatre is an amazing company. They helped me out so much when I was doing my dissertation at uni. Um, they let me ask them a load of questions and they're really, really helpful. And they're great guys. They're really friendly and really hardworking and... I honestly love their stuff and they also have um they recently did something on BBC they did like a series of short funny skits on BBC so they are doing an amazing job and I can't wait till I can get back and watch one of their plays because I love them so I have seen out of theirs the play that goes wrong so this is the program for that which I highly recommend this is the first one I saw of theirs and I've seen it seen this once i think i've seen it no i've seen it twice no i've seen it once i've seen this one Hello? yeah i've seen it once i thought i'd seen it once i haven't i've seen it once uh but i highly recommend it. it's absolutely hilarious i love that the next one i saw from them is a comedy about a bank robbery which again is also absolutely hilarious um it's like physical comedy and stuff it's just such british humor that I love and it just oh I love it so much uh, I saw Peter Pan goes wrong by them which obviously I saw Peter Pan goes wrong because it's Peter Pan and my mum got me and my brother and her tickets and when we first went to try and watch it there was a blackout in Soho so we couldn't actually watch it so we had to reschedule and then we went to watch it again nearer to Christmas which was even more brilliant because it was more like um, a panto which was really really cute so love that that's on mostly at christmas i don't know if they're doing it this year actually but i would love it if they were obviously i don't really know what's happening this year with everything but the new re the most recent one i saw of theirs was grown-ups they were doing three performances in one theater so they were doing grown-ups um when magic goes wrong and something else and i can't remember the other one but i was supposed to go and see magic when magic goes wrong the week after we went into lockdown. So I'm really, really sad that I haven't seen that yet. But we are trying to reschedule it. They gave us like a rescheduling thing so we can reschedule it. Hopefully I can see it because I would love to see it. And I would love to see it with the original cast because I've seen everything they've done with the original cast. And my brother lives with one of them. So like, you know. Uh, next up, this I actually saw when I was at university. Uh, we were taken to see this. This is called Let the Right... Let let the right one in it's based on a book i believe or a film i can't remember it's uh it's such a good film it's such a good contemporary theater piece and so moving and so scary as well like it wouldn't never normally be something i would watch but i'm so glad that we were taken to see it and i did go and watch it because it honestly is amazing like the physical comedy in it the physical comedy the physicality of it as well is insane like it's just so good it's so good so even when i'm with uni i have to get a program whenever i see anything i have to get a program like i normally get a program and possibly a souvenir brochure but i at least have to get a program because i love looking back at my programs and they are, are all stored onto my bed safely so uh, the next program i have here is joseph and the amazing technicolor dream coat which i went to see for my birthday last year uh which i loved sheridan smith was the narrator in it she was amazing jason donovan was in it and the guy that played joseph uh let me find his name jack yarrow was incredible he is yes yeah, so these are the principals here so you've got sheridan jack and jason donovan in the middle um they were amazing he was amazing like he's just come out of drama school and 
I wasn't so keen on the fact that there was a lot of children in it. I know that sounds really mean, but a lot of the, like, some of the brothers were played by children, and I just... I don't know. It just wasn't a vibe for me. Like, Potiphar, I think, was played by a child. I just wasn't really feeling the amount of kids in it. But other than that, I loved it. I love Joseph. It's one of my favourite musicals. So... I would have happily gone and seen it again. I think they are bringing it back. They were obviously going to bring it back this year, but with everything going on, I think it's coming back next year. It was at the London Palladium, I believe. Yeah, the London Palladium. Uh, it was so it was so good. I just... I mean, everything you see, you're not going to agree with the creative choices and everything, but I love it as a whole, so it's not going to ever, like, destroy anything from me. For me, even. Next up is the Rocky Horror Show program I got. I went to see this at the Cliffs and I love this program because like I've got these little bits in here that are like the fishnet tights that Frankie wears. Um, I didn't dress up uh, when I went to watch it. I didn't have the confidence. I wish that I did. Like now looking back on it, if I saw it again, I probably would just dress up because it's just a, like no one's going to judge you in a place like that because everyone does it. Um... I love Rocky Horror though, it's such an underrated musical and I think it's fab. The cast were amazing as well, like, I can't remember who I saw as the lead in it when I went to watch it, because this is the tour, like, souvenir brochure, but it doesn't have the uh, full names of everyone who was in it, uh, so that's annoying, but it was really good. It was really, really good and it's such a feel-good musical, I love it. Uh, I have the Lion King. Oh, this is such a stunning brochure. Like, honestly, this is a souvenir one, I believe. Yeah, I believe it is. So, obviously, it's the music by Elton John. It's the famous Lion King story. And, honestly, the puppetry in this is insane. We were sat in the stalls. We were right on the aisle seats. So, the guys, like, for Circle of Life, the animals come down the aisles. So, you, like, see all the puppets that like, come down the aisles. And I cried. Uh, because it was just so amazing it was so like immersive and just the puppets in it are crazy like the detail on them is amazing I love The Lion King I think it's great I love the soundtrack as well yeah it's really great I think it's um such a good musical and I have no doubt that it's going to be running for a really really long time because it is incredible so I have here two uh lamiest things here i've got the program and the souvenir brochure because i do like to get both if i can uh but yeah obviously program let me see who i saw um i bear with me sorry ah yeah i saw carrie hope fletcher as eponine who i loved i think she was amazing uh, I saw Rob, oh god, I'm going to butcher his name, Rob Haushin, I'm really sorry, that's not really wrong, as Marius, who is also insane, like, one of the best singers, I mean, I love him, I follow him on, like, Twitter and stuff, and he's just amazing, like, some of his recent music, by the way, if you haven't listened to it, you need to, because it's so good, um, but yeah, I loved Les Mis. I cried. I went to watch that for one, uh, my birthday one year. I cried. Because who watches Les Mis and doesn't cry? If you do, you're heartless. But yeah, like some of these production photos, like, oh, the detail in these souvenir brochures is just insane. Like the production photos are so good. Oh, I love them. I love them. If you haven't seen Les Mis, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Next up, I got my Matilda program. Did I show something with Matilda before? Oh, I showed the leaflet of Matilda. So this is my Matilda program. I loved Matilda. We went to watch it as a family years ago now. I can't even remember when it was, but it was the Cambridge Theatre, and it was just so good. We were in the stalls, so like, without giving too much away, they like their swings and they swing above your head, and we were sat right where you could like they were swinging it was just so so good it's such a good show and i love tim minchin as well like he wrote music for it so i'm obsessed with tim minchin so he did such a good job so i really want to see matilda again i've got mary poppins here and i'm not sure if this is 
Ah, uh, this is the one at the Mayflower. I've seen Mary Poppins twice. I've seen it at the Mayflower Theatre and then when I was younger, but I can't remember the theatre it was at when I was younger, but this is the one from the Mayflower Theatre. So this is the touring version, um, which had... Let me have a look. I can find out who was in it. Do, do, do. Oh. Um... Who played Mary Poppins? Who played Mary? Oh, Zizi Strallen. I knew it was a Strallen, but I couldn't remember which one. Zizi Strallen was Mary Poppins, and she was amazing. She was really, really good. I love Mary Poppins. I love her. I love theatre. And obviously, I've got the souvenir brochure. I believe this is the tour one as well. Yeah, because that's Zizi Strallen. I just look. Just look. I can't, like, look at this. So you've got supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, which I know how to spell, by the way, without even looking at this. Uh, thanks to my youth theatre days. <laughs> God, I know how to, like, how they um, do it in the show as well. Just, just saying. Not to brag or anything, but... Oh, I love theatre. I want to go to the theatre. I'm really sad that, like all these places like, like it's great for the food industry and whatever that they've got so much help and blah 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 but come on Hans we need to help the theatre industry out like it's not fair I miss the theatre so much um and I cannot wait to get back to a theatre like even if it's an open air theatre I just want to get back to a live theatre uh I have so many one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine West End Live programs. I can't get rid of these either. I don't know why. Some of them I think may be signed in places by some people. Um, where I can't even remember the first time, the first year I went. I know for a full fact that we went for the first year that West End Live was a thing. I mean, there's 2006 there, but I don't know if that was the first year or not. Uh, let's have a look to see what we can discover here. Right, so these are the old ones. So, uh, that's 2009, 2011. I think 2006 was the first year, you know. I might be wrong. 2008, 2007. Yeah, 2006 would have been the first year then. I went for the very first, so that's this program. God, it's so much thinner than the rest of them. Uh, this is when it was at Leicester Square. Yeah, Leicester Square, 2006. It's the first year. It was. It's amazing. I can't even remember how we found out about it, actually, but I loved it. I met so many, like, West End stars that year because I loved it. So I've got here the Glass Menagerie, which is something I went to watch at the Nuffield Theatre in Southampton. Uh... One of my tutors suggested we went and watched it, so I went and watched that. This is an autograph from Chris Lilly. If you don't know, if you've never watched Summer Heights High, you got Mr. G and everything, uh, or Angry Boys or anything like that. He is a legend. He's a comedy legend. And my nan's neighbours know his mum. So they went out to Australia uh, and like had dinner with him and asked him if he could give me an autograph because they knew I liked him and asked if he could send me some bits so he sent me some like merch and stuff which was really really cute so Chris Lilly thanks hun love that got my Jersey Boys program uh, which I've already spoken about Jersey Boys so I'm not going to do that again I've got my Mama and Mia program right don't get me wrong I love the music of Mama Mia I'm just not a fan of the stage I knew that was going to die sorry I just had to plug you in Anyway, like I was saying, Mamma Mia, I'm just not a fan of the stage show. It's weird because I love the film and I think because I love the film, I'm not as much of a fan of the stage show. There's nothing wrong with it. I just feel like the film is more immersive, I guess. But I'm glad I've seen it. It's one that it's one of those ones that, like, I'm glad I saw it because you sort of have to see it. Another one I'm glad I've seen but it's not my favourite and... One of my friends who I went to watch this with is not going to be happy with me for saying this. But it's Phantom of the Opera. Uh, 
like the singing is amazing the storyline is okay i just it's just not really my vibe like i it's one of those ones that you sort of have to tick it off your list because it's a musical that you sort of have to tick off your list but it's not one that i'm overly keen on and that i would rush back to watch again however the cast i saw were amazing so the phantom was geronimo roush Oosh, I don't know, I can't remember his name, but the Rao as well was Liam Payne. I don't know, but it's these guys, they are, they were really, really good, like, sensational. But it's just, it's just not really my thing. It's not really my thing, but I've seen it, it was good. Theatrically, it's amazing. Like, the chandelier and everything, like, it's sensational. Uh, this is Mon- my Monty Python programme. I can't remember whose signature that is on the front. <laughs> That's really bad, isn't it? I met someone afterwards, but I could not tell you who it was that I met because I can't remember because this was years ago. Um, but I've got someone's signature on the front of it. Whoever you are, thank you, but I can't remember who you are. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is Spamalot, uh, which is hilarious. Again, based on Monty Python um it's just so funny it's so funny it's obviously typical british humor it sort of ties in a lot of their things you've got like the holy grail life of brian you've got like it all sort of tied into one show and it's a musical and it's hilarious i know they changed it after it was in london which is a shame because i've seen it on tour as well but some of the bits they changed i was like oh damn that's a really funny bit but probably can't be used now because it might be quite offensive to some people but it's i mean i get why they changed it but it's it's funny either way uh next up is my sister act program which i loved sister act i went to see this with one of my old friends that i was actually in a youth group with i asked if she wanted to come watch it she did uh so mother superior in this was sheila hancock who is amazing and patina miller was sister mary clarence slash dolores van cartier she was insane like by the way if you don't know who patina, patina miller is like get your act sorted home because she is incredible her voice is sensational i love this strap 10 out of 10 next up is another one i am so sad has closed so sad has closed and i really want to see it again i really want to bring it back and that is kinky boots i went and saw this with my mum i think i've maybe got tickets for my birthday or maybe mum just took me i can't really remember but Kinky Boots is so good. It's such a feel-good musical and I'm so sad it's closed. The cast I saw, Simon Anthony Roden was Lola, but however, I actually saw his understudy because he wasn't in. So I can't remember who I saw as his understudy, but Charlie Price was David Hunter. And if you don't know who David Hunter is, honey, what are you doing? He is so good. He has been in Waitress recently. He was in Once. Uh, he was in Avenue Q, I believe. I feel like I've got that wrong. I'm going to look at his bio, see if it says anything about it. I mean, it doesn't say I have a new queue, so I might have just made that up completely. I feel like he was, but maybe I think I'm getting a mix up with someone else. But I've seen him with something else as well. But he is so good. His voice is so good. Like, oh, he brought me to tears. Honestly, amazing. The whole cast are so strong in that show. And they released it in cinemas. Me and my mum went to watch a it in the cinema and we saw the original charlie price in it and he is also amazing and the original lola who's also amazing and i can't remember the names that's really bad but they are so good so if you haven't seen it i don't know if you can watch it anywhere i'm not really too sure but if you can do because oh my gosh you hear my voice (laughs) if you can do if you can do because it's so good uh oh look i found a free card holder that i got from wicked day some more um leaflets show leaflets i've got my mayflower we will rock you program <coughs> sorry my voice is going really weird uh yeah this is when i went to watch uh we will rock you at the mayflower in southampton years ago um that was so good actually one of the guys in it was from the x factor I got so many signatures. I met loads of them outside afterwards because my nan knows like where the stage door and stuff comes out. So we went and um, met a load of them. But this doesn't have a cast list. That's weird. Why doesn't it have a cast list? 
Oh, Ridian Roberts. That's it. Ridian Roberts was in it and he was amazing. He was so good. Um, yeah, I love that. But yeah, it was so good. And I feel like, oh my God, I can't remember his name, but he was amazing as well. Follow him on Twitter as well. That's really bad, isn't it? Yeah, for some reason, it doesn't have a cast list in here, which is really annoying. I don't know if this is just the book for the Mayflower. This might just be the book for the Mayflower. But either way, I got them to sign it, so that was cool. Uh, I've got my Jersey Boys souvenir brochure, which I feel like is signed somewhere, maybe my programme side. I met one of them after, uh, who was really, really lovely, and had a picture with me, so it was cute. But, can okay, I can't remember his name either. Oh, that's really bad. Um, it's this guy, who is also in... Heather's recently, I believe. But Carrie Hope Fletcher with him. Uh, I mean, if I... F I can't even find my... Um, what do I call it? Hang on, no, I'm actually going to look for my Jersey Boys programme because there's also the guy that was Frankie Valley in here. Ah, oh, there it is. Found it, found it, found it, found it. Right, so... Let me have a look, see... John Boyden is the guy that I met. The guy that played Frankie Valley, Valley was Ryan Malloy, who was uh, amazing. I feel like he was the original Frankie Valley, so I feel like we saw it quite early on. Um, but yeah, John Boyden is the guy that I met. He was really lovely. Oh, no, we didn't see Ryan Malloy. We saw John Lee. Oh, my God, we saw John Lee. So John Lee uh, is John from S Club 7, who I saw in... Uh, Jersey Boys, I knew it was someone that I completely forgot. Ryan Malloy is Frankie in other ones and he's the Frankie in like the photos and everything but John Lee is the guy we saw and he was sensational like coming from S Club you'd be like oh I don't know if he's going to be that good but honestly when I tell you I cried. His voice is sensational like so good so good so he is amazing Um, I don't know what he's doing now I don't know what they're doing after Exactly but uh, after S Club again. But he was insane. Insane. I loved him so much. Uh this big old thing is my Chitty Chitty Bang Bang uh program. I couldn't think of the word then. Uh I watched Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and this is the first ever West End show I ever saw. So this holds a lot of meaning to me. I love it. Like this is sort of like where me going to the theatre and stuff stemmed from. Um, and me loving theatre stemmed from, really. I believe this is a... Oh, I don't remember who... I thought it was Australian, but maybe it's not. I can't remember. But yeah, I loved... I loved this show. We were sat in the dress circle, I believe. So we had, like, where the car flew, it was, like, right in front of us. And I just remember it so vividly. And it was just... It was such a highlight. It was such a... It's one of my mum... My mum's favourite musicals, so... I'm so happy that we got to see it. I'm so happy we got to see it. So I've got my Monty Python spam a lot. Um, souvenir brochure. This is one of these is the tour one, and one of these is the original one. I feel like this might be the tour. Is this the tour? I feel like that's. I think this is the tour, and I think this is the original one. But yeah, I'm not going to go on about spam a lot again. I'm really speak about it. Next up, oh my god, there's so many in here. <laughs> it's my hairspray uh, program. I watched hairspray on tour at the Mayflower in Southampton when I was visiting my nan. I it had Marcus Collins in it, who was in from the X Factor, who was the runner up to Little Mix. He is he was so good. He was seaweed. He was absolutely amazing. Um, the whole cast was so good. I was just so obsessed. I met a few of them after. And the guy that played um, the mum, let me see, Edna Turnblad, was Mark Benton, who was chalky in Waterloo Road, if any of you are going to remember that. But you might not. Oh, this guy. Here you go. This one here. Mark Benton. We met him. He was lovely. He had a picture with us. He was really nice. We were waiting for Marcus Collins to come out. I was really sad, but I didn't get to meet him. But he was so good. But yeah, I loved that. Me and my brother watched that. Sat next to each other. Loving life. This is my Mamma Mia souvenir brochure. Again, not going to talk about it. This is my Legally Blonde souvenir brochure, which... 
Again, I've already said about... However, I Duncan James was in it, but I didn't see Duncan James. I saw Richard Fleishman. Maybe Richard had taken over then. I can't really remember. Maybe he had. I can't remember. I think he may have taken over by then, but I saw Richard Fleishman as Warner, and he was so good. He was so funny, so good. Oh, yeah. There you go. So I met Sheldon Smith. She signed my programme. And I met Richard Fleishman, who also signed my programme. He was lovely. I went to see it with my friend Taylor from school and also I met Jill Halfpenny who was Paulette and she signed my program she was lovely as well um Alex Gammond this is the guy that was in Real Rocky when I watched Real Rocky so I saw him in Real Rocky and saw him as Emmett Forrest in Legally Blonde that's the guy I was trying to remember his name I knew it became with an A Matthew McKenna I met who was also Emmett so maybe he was Emmett on the day that I saw it he was really good as well loved him but yeah I loved that show I really wish they'd bring that back and now I've got <laughs> oh my god I've got four wicked programs uh which compared to the amount my brother has this is nothing my brother has seen wicked so many times it's one of his favorites um so my four is nothing compared to how many my brother has but I've seen so many different casts let me see uh, I saw Diana Pilkington uh, in this cast and who was Elphaba Kerry Ellis I think that was the first one I ever saw that uh, was Kerry I saw Nikki Davis Jones as Elphaba and Gina Beck as Glinda I feel like this also is Nikki yeah again Nikki Davis Jones and Gina Beck and then I saw I don't think I saw oh yeah Rachel Tucker and Susie Mathers Maybe there's mothers, I don't know, but it's such a good show. Highly recommend if you haven't seen Wicked. I mean, most people have seen Wicked, but if you haven't, then honey, you need to. Kinky Boots, again, spoken about that. Oh, I've got, oh I found my um, music festival uh, certificates. I got a bronze medal from my music festival. I can't even remember what that piece was, but. I got an honours in a duet I did with one of my friends and an honours when I was nine years old in a verse speaking. That's why I don't sound like I'm from Essex because I've been vocally trained, Hans. Uh, and last but not least is my sister act uh, souvenir brochure, which is really, really amazing. So you've got like postcards and massive posters, like the pictures are insane. You've got like pull out bits and everything in here is so good. And here she is, Bettina Miller, absolute babe. Yeah, and the rest of the stuff in here is like tote bags from shows, carrier bags from shows and stuff like that. So I'm not going to get all of that out. But yeah, I've got a couple of posters from shows. Oh, this is so cute. I love looking back at old like um, programs and stuff. I'm... I hope you all did too. I hope you all enjoyed hearing my opinions on certain shows. Um, but yeah, I I love it. I love theatre so much and I'm so sad that we don't have the funding for theatre like other places do at the moment. And I'm really, really hoping that there's a way we can have the th funding and there's a way that the government can work out somehow of us theatre people doing outside theatres or something because I miss theatre so much been really down lately and theatre would really like cheer me up but it's quite sad at the moment I know some people are doing like open air stuff but I haven't been able to get to any of them because of work has been so busy but hopefully hopefully all of this madness ends soon and I can go back to the theatre because I miss it so much um, but yeah I just feel really yeah my mental health's not been the greatest lately uh, so yeah I'm not going to go into that in this video because <laughs> I don't want to do that in today's video but yeah I love theatre I really hope that we can get back to theatre soon I hope that I can watch more theatre I'm going to try and watch like some theatre online if I can if there's a way for me to do it now um yeah, I miss it. We'll get back to normality soon, I know it. For anyone in the theatre world, I hope you're okay because I know it's stressful and I know that it's uncertain and it's not fair and everything and we will get there. 
we will power through and the show will go on. And on that note, I am going to end this video here. Uh, please give the video a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please let me know any video ideas you have for me down below and subscribe to my channel. It would mean a hell of a lot to me. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next week. Bye guys.